Hey everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a black and white film look to your photos in Photoshop. Now, to me, some photos just call out that they should be black and white, or it just screams that it'll look good in black and white, like this one here. In my opinion, this one, I immediately thought, I'm going to make it black and white. So the first thing you want to do is decide if you want to add more noise to your photo. And to do this, we'll go to right click, convert to smart object on our layer so we can add smart filters. And we'll go to filter, noise, add noise. Now, you don't want to go too overboard, just keep it light. Just use your eyes to see what looks good, but you know, something around 5 to 10% and uniform or Gaussian doesn't really matter, but I like to tick monochromatic. Now, in this case, this photo was taken at night with a pretty high ISO anyways, so I'm going to skip, I guess I'll just press OK actually, let's just add more noise assuming you want more noise on your photo. So now that we have our noise taken care of and we've got that kind of film grain replicated, we want to make it black and white. So to do this, we're going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, and add a black and white adjustment layer. Now, the reason we're using this black and white adjustment layer tool is that we can adjust all the color channels and make them darker or brighter. Now, you can eyeball it by dragging each slider and seeing how you like it, but what I like to do is grab this little finger pointer slider and click and drag on the areas that you want brighter and the areas that you want darker. So if I click up here and drag to the right, you'll see that it makes those colors a little bit brighter. If I click down here and drag to the left, you'll see that it makes those colors a little bit darker. So I want my silhouette of the person there to be pretty dark, and let's add some brightness into these colors. To me, when I think of black and white film or black and white film look, I get that higher contrast black and white in mind, so that's why we did that. So once you're happy with your black and white adjustment layer and slider positions, we're gonna add a curves layer. So head over to layer, new adjustment layer, curves. Now in this layer, we're going to lift up some of the shadows and make them not so much of a pure black and give it a little bit of a matte finish or faded film look. So in our curves adjustment, we're just gonna add two points. Add one in the middle of this last square, so the middle there, and then add one right there as an anchor point. So we have this square kind of plotted out, and then just take the very bottom left corner and drag it up halfway through that square on the grid to meet your second point and create a straight line. And what that straight line does is it tells Photoshop everything on the image that's within this range of black is now only going to be within this range of gray and up. So we've essentially turned the first 10% darkest colors of the photo into a little bit higher of a gray. Now if you wanted to add some more contrast to the brightness right within the curves tool, you could add a point somewhere up here and kind of swing and pull that line a little bit higher up to add some more brightness. And if you wanted to make a little bit more contrast in the dark colors, you could take that third point on there and drag that down to darken up the photo and add some dark contrast. But I just like to pull up the brightness a little bit in this case and then minimize that and you should have your final black and white film look complete with the grainy noise and the slightly faded black but high contrast black and white colors. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you learned a couple things. If you did, definitely leave a like on it and check out my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for future videos. If you guys want to stay up to date with me, you can follow me on social media at Justin Odisho. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to me on there or leave them in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.